taking you behind the scenes on how this Valentine's stop motion was shot using an iPhone. Download our app Life Lapse available on both iOS and Android devices. Before you get started, be sure to switch your phone's auto lock to never so it doesn't switch off while recording. Click the big blue plus sign at the bottom of the screen to start a new project. Once your scene is set up, be sure to lock your exposure, light balance and focus so these stay consistent in each photo. Here's a behind the scenes of our setup. You can see the scene, the light is just out of shot and then we've got our phone on our tripod. This particular stop motion was shot using two people. One person was bringing their hand in slowly with the photo being taken between each movement and the other person was using a Bluetooth remote to take photos and looking through the phone screen just to make sure everything was in alignment. Once the hand was touching the first object, it was switched out for something else. This was repeated until all the objects were switched out. This is what the capturing looked like through the iPhone that was taking the photos. We shot this as a Valentine's themed stop motion, but you can use this type of animation for any sort of product based business because it's really about having that hand come in and touch a an object and have it switched out for something else. Using human elements in a stop motion doesn't necessarily require two people, but given the nature of this stop motion and how far away the camera was, this one definitely did require two people to create. Once you've captured all of the photos, you can open the in-app editor and the photos are ready for editing. For this particular video, we hit reverse because we wanted the other objects to appear first. We then increased our speed to play the video a bit quicker. From here, we increased our brightness to give the video a bit more of a pop. We also used the tilt function, so we pinched and zoomed to adjust our crop and then we could drag around to move our frame around based on the real estate of the video that we had captured. Not shown, but we also added in the boomerang effect and put a freeze effect on the final frame, which you can do for one, two or three seconds on any photo that you choose. And here's a reminder of the final result. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this free tutorial and you want a chance to win $100 to Amazon, which is by the way, where we buy most of our stop motion gear, please leave us a review in the Apple App Store sharing what you love most about Life Laps. These reviews help us out a lot and we select a winner each month to get $100 USD to Amazon. All you have to do is go to the Apple App Store, search Life Laps, scroll down and then click write a review. Share what you love most about life laps, screenshot it, and then DM it to us on Instagram. This will take you no longer than a minute. You'll be helping us out a ton and you'll have a chance to win a hundred bucks. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be the first to know when we release new stop motion tutorials.